Hi guys! In today's video, we'll be making this Freddy Fazbear inspired doll repaint from the first FNAF game. I chose to make a female version since female dolls are way easier to come by and that's just what I prefer, but you can obviously make it a male if you want to. This was a fun project since the original character has very little clothing, you kinda had to figure it out yourself, so I chose to make this kinda showwoman look. I really hope you enjoy my take on the character and let's get started. For this project I used this Monster High Howling doll. This was the first time I ever worked on this model and I really enjoyed it because I thought she was quite cute. Firstly, I got rid of the hair and the ears since they didn't fit the character. Then use acetone or nail polish remover to remove the face. Cleanse the face and then prime it with the Mr. Super Clear Spray. I usually use the one that's UV cut, but my supplier was out of stock so I had to buy the one that wasn't UV cut and I had some issues with it, but I'll get back to that. As usual, I use my watercolor pencils, a few shades of chalk pastels, and also a bit of acrylic paint for the face. So, as I said, I did not really enjoy this new sealer that I got. The only reason I got it was because it was out of stock in the regular UV cut one, which I usually use. So I had to get the one that isn't UV cut, and right away, even though I primed like I usually do, it added no grip to the doll's face, so I couldn't build up my pencils like I usually did, even the black one hardly adhered, and the face just seemed too smooth. The only thing that kinda went on regularly was the pastels, but on one side of their face they went on really, really patchy, which was quite annoying. So yeah, I kinda felt I struggled a little bit with this one. In order to try and build up the opacity a little bit better in this first layer, I chose to go over the areas that I covered with pencils with a bit of chalk pastel in the proper colors to kind of deepen the colors as much as I could. When I could no longer build up any color, I sealed it with the spray again to work on top. And I started by trying to reinforce what we'd already done. But in the end, after a little while, I gave up a little bit on the pencils. And I chose to use acrylic paint to color the whites of the eyes and the iris just to get an opaque proper color. So here I got out the acrylic paint and yeah, it was way more satisfying than the pencils at this point.
I did the eye honor with black acrylic paint to make it really stand out. After sealing in the paint with the spray, I started shading the eyes. Normally I shade darker around the top of the iris, which would have a shadow from the eyelid. But here I did it the opposite way by sh making the most shading at the bottom and keeping it light at the top, because that is the way Freddy's eyes look. I went over all the shading a last time to deepen it as much as I could until I was happy with it and then I sealed it in the final time. While the face was drying I used Paul McClay to sculpt the ears. After baking, I painted the inside of the ear using acrylic paint and sealed it in with a matte varnish. Freddy also has a microphone which I made in grey clay to start with, baked it and then painted it with acrylic paint. Seal it in with a matte lace, and then we can move on to the hair. I use this chocolate brown viscose hair which I got off eBay. I glue strands of hair onto the doll's head, being mindful of where I wanted to place the ears. You can see I marked it off here, so I can add the ears at the proper time. At this point I gave it a trim to see the length I wanted, added the final hair and then gave it a final trim. Then I glued on some doll eyelashes and glazed the eyes. For the top hat, I cut out a hollow circle in some cardstock, then took some scratchbook paper and made a little cylinder and glued a piece to the top. Then I glued them together and painted it black. Now onto the clothing. I used the kitchen film and tape method to make my patterns, starting with a simple pair of shorts.
Cut out the pieces and to finish your pattern, trace them onto paper and add seam allowance. I decided I wanted them a little shorter, so I took a piece of both bottoms and when I played them on the fabric to cut them out, I placed them on the already fixed edge, so I didn't have to add seam allowance there. Once you have your pieces, sew each set together at the outer edge. Then open up the pieces like this, place them right sides together and sew together the curves. Then flatten everything out and sew together the crotch part. And that's our basic shorts. Hem the top edge and close the back with a piece of velcro. Then they're finished. For the top, I wanted something that looked like a vest with a shirt underneath, so I made a pattern like this. For the color of the vest, I folded over the edges and fixed them in place using some hemming web. Then I added it onto the right side of the front piece. Sew the darts on the two front pieces and then sew them together to one piece. Then sew the two back pieces on by the shoulders, fix the armhole, and then sew them by the sides. Measure half on the bottom edge, so we can make a little half circle to go on here to add a bit of flair. Make two of these pieces and sew them onto the bottom of the vest. For the inner shirt part, I made two white pieces like this, folded one over and attached them together in the middle, and made a small collar to go around the edge. Now you can sew the shirt to the vest, and then close the whole thing with velcro in the back. Finally, I made a little bow tie from ribbon, added this on, along with a few small buttons. And then we're ready to put it all together. I really like the way she turned out, so I hope you guys do too. If you guys have any suggestions for other characters you'd like to see, movies or games, whatever, whatever you'd like to see me do my take on, do leave them in the comments below, because I love getting inspiration from you guys. I plan on making the other animatronics from the first game as well, so let me know if there's one you'd like to see before the others. Thank you guys so much for watching, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in a new one real soon. Bye!